Welcome to this video on creating layer 3 fabrics using Network Director. This video includes an introduction to layer 3 fabrics, the advantages of using Network Director to create fabrics, the prerequisites for layer 3 fabrics, creating, verifying and editing a layer 3 fabric. Layer 3 fabrics improve uptime and performance and support newer cloud infrastructures such as VMware NSX. Fabrics use claw architecture to scale beyond the port density of a single switch. The spine and leaf topology of these fabrics connects all leaf devices to the spine devices in a mesh. Network Director provides comprehensive pre and post deployment fabric automation and management for layer 3 fabric topologies. You can automate provisioning, configuration and deployment of complex fabric topologies to eliminate errors associated with manual deployment. Before you create a layer 3 fabric, ensure that you have installed Network Director version 2.0. Using the deploy mode, upload the software images for all spine and leaf devices that you plan to include in the layer 3 fabric. Now we'll show you how to create a layer 3 fabric. From logical view, click device management and then manage layer 3 fabrics. Click Create to open the Fabric Requirement screen. Here, you can specify the name of the fabric and provide a description for it. Select the spine device from the list of supported switches. The initial capacity is the number of devices to start the fabric. Max capacity is the maximum number of devices that will be part of the layer 3 fabric. The range is 2 to 8. To add leaf devices to the fabric, click Add. Then select a device model and enter the number of devices that you plan to have in the fabric. This is an optional step. However, you must specify the maximum number of leaf devices you plan to have in this fabric. You can add leaf devices to the fabric even after the fabric is deployed. Click Next. The Devices screen shows the spine and leaf devices that will be part of the layer 3 fabric. Host names are created by the software based on the fabric name you specified. You can click Edit Host Name Prefix to edit the prefix. Devices are displayed in different colors. The devices in blue are for immediate deployment and those in orange are for future deployment. Click Next to set the configuration details. Use Loopback IP Prefix to specify the IP address block for configuring the Loopback interface in each member. Interconnect IP prefix specifies the IP address block for interconnect links between leaf and spine devices. VLAN IP prefix sets the IP address block reserved for virtual machines or hosts that will be connected to the leaf devices. Start management IP specifies the management IP address that network director uses to manage each switch. Use max host VMs per leaf to specify the maximum IP addresses required on the subnet. Spine BGP and Leaf BGP Autonomous System Number specify the starting AS numbers assigned to the first spine device and the first leaf device respectively. Specify the password for the devices in the layer 3 fabric. The password that you set here will be common for all devices in the fabric. If Network Director and the layer 3 fabric devices are in different subnets, the Management Gateway field will be enabled and you will need to specify the Management Gateway. Click Next. The Cabling Plan screen displays the recommended cabling plan for your fabric. Here you can see the plan for one of the leaf devices. You can zoom in to view the port details. This is the cabling plan for one of the spine devices. You can view the cabling plan in a grid as well. Click Next. The ZTP screen allows you to specify zero touch provisioning details. If you select Other for the DHCP server type or select the Manually Configure Server checkbox, all details except the DHCP server type are hidden. Click View Instructions to see manual configuration steps. If you select Send OS or Ubuntu, set the username and password for the DHCP server.
Now choose a file server to save the software images and set the IP address or host name of the file server and the root directory. Select a software image for the spine and leaf devices. Network Director supports EX4300 and QFX5100 switches and their variants as leaf devices. The software image you select applies to all variants of a device. You can select the image later as well. You can view the configuration generated by the software for deployment for the spine and leaf devices. Now enter the MAC address of the management interface or the chassis serial number of the spine devices. You can also import MAC addresses and serial numbers using a CSV file. Click the CSV sample button to download a sample file for specifying the MAC addresses and serial numbers. Click Next. You can review the settings before deploying the fabric using the Devices, Configuration and ZTP Settings tabs. In the ZTP Settings tab, you can view the DHCP configuration details. Click Deploy. You can see that the fabric has been successfully deployed. Now click View Inventory and you can see that the devices are synced and the fabric has two spine devices and three leaf devices. Now let's verify the fabric that we created. Go to Manage Layer 3 Fabrics, select the fabric and click View Connectivity Results. The results show the state of each device devices with cabling faults and devices connected successfully. You can use these results to troubleshoot issues. Click View Topology to check how the spine devices and leaf devices are connected to the fabric. To edit Layer 3 fabric, select the fabric and click Edit. The Edit wizard is similar to the Create wizard, but you can't edit all of the fields. To replace a device, select the device to replace and click Replace. Network Director updates the status of the device as replaced. You cannot replace an inactive device. To add a spine, click Add Spine and select a spine. After you replace a device, click ZTP Settings or use the Next button to navigate to the ZTP Settings screen. Then specify the MAC address or serial number of the replaced device. When replacing a spine device, you can specify either the MAC address or the serial number of the device. When replacing a leaf device, you must specify the MAC address. Click Next. Click Deploy to deploy the fabric again. 